UPS strikes again, man. They destroyed my Jordan 1 prototype box. Good news is, we always double up over here at Sneaker Notes. The show don't stop. Let's get it. We're in Cologne. No snow. Big zone. No snow. Big zone. See notes, but you could call me no snow. Just brought a bag and got a bag to blow. Let me tell y'all, man. When the box arrived all scrunched up, I knew that the real box was messed up. We don't wear the box over here. But when you pay for something, you want it to come how you want it to come. Again, man, luckily I doubled up. Really not that mad, man. I contact Nike. They made it right somewhat, so it is what it is. But today, we had to talk about the Jordan 1 Pro type prototype something iron man to make <laughs> um i love the colors from the picture you know you can cut the bottom but my thing is if you cut these and make these low ain't the tongue still gonna be crazy high ha, got I, I don't know man that's something we gotta figure out man we gonna get into an in-depth review on these if you haven't check out the last two joints i did uh, the Undefeated Dunk and the Free Lunch Dunks. Both good sneakers. I lean more towards the Free Lunch Dunks, though. You know, without further ado, man, hit the music. Unboxing Now go ahead and tell me Jordan Brand is not listening to me. Go ahead. Y'all know if you watch the channel, I complain that the Jordan 1 box never changes. See what I mean? He listens. I know he listens. The prototype comes in the Jordan 1 box draped in the same colors as the sneaker. Very dope touch. I've been saying this for about three years. Every time we get a different colorway, a different type of Jordan, the box should resemble the color of the sneaker. I love the OG red and black box. I even like the Fearless Reverse red and black box. But it should change, man. Jordan 1's dropping every other week. The box will change. But enough with the box. Flip open the lid. Quality control is there. Nike swoosh is there. Brown wax paper. So even the paper changed on these ones. Now, here we have the Jordan 1 prototype. And I love whenever a Jordan 1 comes with not one, not two, but three different shoe strings. That makes me feel like my 185 was well invested. So the three shoe strings look just like the box and looks just like the sneaker. Starting with the toe box, seems to be like a hard leather. There's no bounce back here. I do still have the shoe tree in, but usually still with the shoe tree, you can get a bounce back. There's no bounce back here. This is like hard leather. This is one of the hardest leathers I felt on a Jordan 1 since the 1985 all white ones I had a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago. But one of my favorites to any Nike sneaker is a mini swoosh. I love a mini swoosh. And this one is in like a highlighter orange, so it definitely pops. I never really fact checked the colors on the box, but this right here seems to be like a cream, a pale orange, a pale pink. Nice. It does have a new buck feeling. Watch, be quiet. Shh does have a new buck uh, feel here and that goes all the way up until you get a hint of that UNC blue that's also in a new buck feel and they top it off with like a, a royal navy blue 
and that's more in a leather material. So you have like new buck, baby blue, new buck, pale pink, but that that blue hit is in the more leather feel. The Nike swoosh, not one of my favorites, but I like the white outlining. It's in just a black colorway, but the white outlining makes it pop. And that black swoosh carries over to the back of the sneaker and that more black leather that we usually see on a Jordan 1. The swoosh is also the same in the inside as the outside, so nothing's changed there. Your tongue is draped in like a shattered backboard 3.0 look as you got your orange Nike Air at the top and then just your black regular tongue. But if you look behind the tongue, you can actually see the orange cotton in the inside. And that may answer my question on what I was thinking about here. So now if you look here, you have little dots right here. And if you went to school, if you have children, you know those dots usually mean cut. And that comes all the way around. Stay with me. I see the cut stitching. Here, to that point. So as you've seen in videos, which I was going to try to do, one of the reasons why I doubled up was if you cut it off, it becomes a low. And I wondered about the tongue. Because if you cut it off, then the tongue is still going to be high. But now looking at the tongue as they show in the cotton, and it's also, if you look here, there's a line right there. So this is meant to be cut, folded, things of that nature, to acquire the low top. Now me personally, man, I'm a Jordan 1 head. I did slim down. When y'all see the sneaker room updated, you're going to see a lot of Jordan 1's missing. I got rid of a lot that I had a three-year span with that I just didn't put on. Uh, Game Royals, Turbo Greens, Gold Toes. Gold Toes was like a five-year span, and I didn't wear. So I'm really not the Jordan 1 buyer of every Jordan 1 anymore. I'm trying to scrail towards some of those grails that I've been looking for, i.e. the trophy rooms. I'm going to get those eventually, but like, like I told y'all, last week was my birthday. I decided to spend my money on a different type of grill. That video is coming soon, so make sure you subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff to shoot to say. Um, but talking about this sneaker alone, I love the the charismatic of it. I love the idea. I just uh, I just think it went over a lot of people's head. That's why something's called a prototype. Um, you can get this sneaker now for the low. I think I seen it on StockX for two hundred. Uh, retail with tax is 185 in New York, so the 200 ain't bad at all. I love the blue. I wish it was more blue and less pale pink or pale orange, but it's just a dope sneaker, man. Even though summer's ending, the sneaker still could be pulled off. And um, I want to see everybody videos cutting it out, man. <laughs> well, I'm your boy Sneaker Notes, man. Thanks for checking me out. Everybody, get rich. Hit my shimmy when I'm in the end zone. Zone, zone, zone. Big zone, 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 zone. Big zone. Give me a handy, she take a patron. I ain't come to tussle with you wearing cologne. No snow. Big zone. No snow. Big zone. I know the vibes. Sneaker notes if we talking about kicks. I know the vibes.